We paid him, uh, we decided what to do. He was basically kick kicking us out. It is quite uncertain whether, whether we are going to arrive safely. <laughs> see if I do this the water isn't coming it isn't working either here so yeah okay this is Africa Okay, so let me tell you about the day we got ripped off in the Gambia. So the day started pretty well. We went to the southern border between the Gambia and Senegal. Uh, it's a place called Carton. There, there is a border crossing which is illegal. In fact, uh, there isn't any place to stamp your passport. The only people that can cross that border is local people, actually. Uh, people who live in Senegal, for example, and work in the Gambia. And the only way to get around is just a little boat, you'll see it in a few seconds. And there were some people from the military trying to control the place and it was quite scary at first, but it was lovely. Yeah. After visiting Carton, uh, we decided to go to the reptile farm. Yeah, we saw some very uh, interesting animals. Apprehensive. No, don't, no, don't be apprehensive. Don't need to for apprehension, man. It's your mental attack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he can. They need no water. No, this one's a wild land. <laughs> come on! Really? Yeah, come on, come on! No, no problem! It's your, your mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but don't, don't close, please. Sure? Yes, it's tranquilo. You can sit, sit, don't go home, man. Relax, go to relax. Go. It moves, but steady. Steady yourself, steady. It will not bite you. Yeah. <laughs> look, look in the camera, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not a Gambian species, really. They live in the Sahara, northern Senegal, Mali. In Sahara. The... Then we went to this place called Brigama in order to fix our mobile data problem. But as it turned out, there was no power due to a big storm. We were left with the same problem. <laughs> And after that, uh, our day was done and we were off to Bintang, a place which is uh, quite in the interior of the country. It was our first stop in our tour around the country. Uh, and well, that's when the things started to get a little bit, um, let's say, tense with our driver. Well, we have probably the worst situation possible, well, almost the most hard and difficult one. Um, well, as you may know, we had this uh, driver who promised us to be with us for three days for only 128 euros or so. Yeah. Uh, thing is, yesterday we paid him 50, we told him we would pay him 50 today, and then the rest the next day. And we were ready to tip him like 
50 euros more. But. Exactly. So today he brought, brought us here to a place which is not too far from where he lives. He's just one, one hour away. Yeah. Right. And he basically, when we were going to pay him the 50 euros, he said he would not accept that, that he wanted more. And he tried to show us some official uh, tariffs. But the truth is we had an agreement on the, on the final price. And he basically kicked us out. He, uh, we paid him, uh, we decided what to do, and he basic was basically saying, hey, you should do this, you should, mm, you know, you should take a car tomorrow, a random car, and go to wherever you want to go, but I'm, uh, I don't really recommend you going with me. He was basically kick kicking us out. So we are in this village, which is pretty, but... Um, it's in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of nowhere. It is quite uncertain whether, whether we are going to arrive safely to our place, and it's quite unlikely also well we are not going to Janjanpure which is which was the, the place we were first intending to go we are not going to be able to go there it's way too far and we don't know if we could get there I guess we are in quite a situation however I was kind of <laughs> expecting this to be uh, to be honest we're just quite you know disappointed yeah disappointed with all these things in addition we have no electricity here so no Wi-Fi yeah, no electricity no Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, yesterday night we had no water. No water. Today is no electricity. This is yeah challenging. This is, this is Gambia. <laughs> right now the hopes are not up. They are quite down. So yeah. <laughs> okay. We maybe we can now go have a walk around the, the village and explore a little bit here, and you know chat with the people here with the with the guests. Maybe they can give us some ideas. You know, I wasn't expecting at all um, to be in this situation. These three days were just so easy. It worked fine. We were, you know, doing well. But now, I think it's the moment where we really have to prove our survival skills and our skills to, you know, to get around. But I think if we succeed tomorrow, we will be almost invincible in the future or something, you know. I don't know. We just talked to a couple, well, to our three German people and they told us it will be fine tomorrow, uh, we won't have any problems. They also told us they ripped us off, um, this uh, driver we had. However, as we don't have any electricity, uh, my phone may die, so that's another big problem. The electricity has been out of the entire country for the entire day, and it doesn't seem to, to come back. The electricity is back, we have electricity, and we will probably have Wi-Fi. So, I think we've reached the bottom now, it can only get better from now. And you and you cook you cook them yourself? Yes, but uh, they have in the customer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the customer later they can buy for Nino. Oh. So And that's the story of how we got ripped off in the Gambia and stranded in the middle of literally nowhere. If you want to know what happened to us, you will have to wait for the third episode. So make sure you don't miss it. That's all for me. See you in the next episode. <laughs> Go, go, go.